Garmin announced the new LiveScope Plus LVS34 transducer. In this video, I'm going to go through what it is, what's new and different from the previous generation LVS32 transducer, and how much it costs. Let's jump in. So what is it? The LiveScope Plus system is the latest in Garmin's lineup of live scanning sonar. This technology allows you to see real-time sonar images like structure, bait, and fish swimming around when paired up with a compatible chart plotter. So what's new and different? First, let's quickly cover what's the same. They both will use a GLS-10 black box. This is the same black box as before. There's nothing new about this black box. And both have a 20 degree by 135 degree beam width. Form factor. The LVS-34 transducer is 6.4 inches long, 3.1 inches tall, and 1.9 inches wide versus the LVS-32 that was 5.37 inches long, 3.8 inches tall and 1.75 inches wide. The new LVS34 transducer weighs in at 2.25 pounds, whereas the previous LVS32 transducer was 1.87 pounds. The LVS34 is now mountable from either side of the transducer, so you no longer need to turn it backwards. The LVS34 also comes with a perspective mode mount, which before was a $100 add-on if you bought the one from Garmin. And not only is the mount included with the transducer, but you can change from down, to forward, to perspective, all without any tools. Improved target separation and screen clarity. The target separation is claimed to be a 35% improvement over the previous LVS32 transducer. Meaning, it is capable of identifying and separating targets as small as 14 inches at a distance of 100 feet from the boat or ice fishing hole. And screen clarity is improved by having better image stitching, reduced noise, and fewer on-screen artifacts. In the early videos being released, we can see that the ghost tree is significantly reduced under normal operating conditions. However, if you are really shallow with the transducer, you may still see that ghost tree. One huge improvement Movement, even if you see the ghost tree in that shallow water is that unlike previously that ghost tree also represented a dead spot so if you were pulling a fish or bait or a jig through that ghost tree that blind spot would still be there now that dead spot's gone even if you can see the ghost tree you can actually see your fish or your bait move through that area of the screen so you don't lose out on tracking that fish or that bait so what's allowing this new transducer to have improved target separation and screen clarity. I've heard everything from it's just a marketing gimmick to it's just new firmware that Garmin is only releasing on the new transducer to force people to upgrade, and that's just not true. Here's the truth. In this new LVS34 transducer, the crystals are arranged differently. As we know, the length of the transducer is longer than the previous LVS32, and the reason for that is because it had to be. The crystals in the LVS-34 transducer are arranged in a longer formation, which takes up more space, therefore needing it to be longer. And the longer the crystal, the sharper the images and better the returns you're gonna get. Improved image stabilization. The LiveScope Plus LVS-34 transducer has a new built-in stabilization system that keeps the sonar image steadier, even in rough water conditions. Unit compatibility. Only current model units are going to be compatible with the LiveScope Plus system. Most notably, the Ecomap Plus series of devices will not work with this new transducer. This is because the units are no longer receiving firmware updates from Garmin and therefore will not support the new firmware that is required. These chart plotters that I have on the screen will all be compatible just like with the LVS32. How much is it? If you already have LiveScope, you can buy just the new LVS34 transducer by itself and use your same black box. That's $11.99.99 and does come with the new perspective mode mount included. The full new kit is $16.99.99, which includes the transducer, the black box, some of the wires, and the mount. This is the route to go if you're just getting into LiveScope or if you already have LiveScope and you want to either sell that as a full kit with the black box that's needed to run the LVS32 or you want to keep that as a secondary unit. Stay tuned to the channel as I'll be doing some side-by-sides of the LVS32 and LVS34 coming up soon. Check out this video on the screen right here which will help you dial in the settings on your LiveScope transducer to get the cleanest screen that you can. Thanks for watching and until next time, take it easy.